I'm cat. The only thing separating you and that bird is the door. Do you want to eat the bird? Do you want to eat the bird? Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to another video. Today's video, we're going to get the truck ready for the upcoming gold mining season. We're not going to get back to work on the car until this bipolar weather decides to straighten out. Normally this time of year farmers are getting the crops in the field. Still tons of snow out there. Monday, April 16th, 10 to 15 centimeters of snow. There is no doubt in my mind we're going to have snow on the ground in May. And I've never seen that ever since I can remember, ever since I was born. This is totally fucked up and it's not making me a very happy camper. So let's take the truck out for a rip, get the engine oil warmed up and figure out how we're gonna fucking change the oil. As you guys can see, the back alley's melted quite a bit. But after tomorrow, will that really matter? Last year at this time, there's no snow. The street sweepers were out. That's not gonna be happening here for at least another month. Oh, fuck me. Global warming is complete fucking bullshit. The world is cooling off is what it is. If this isn't proof, I don't know what the fuck is. Got the old classic coveralls on, so I don't get too dirty laying down on the ice. Garage door will even open. Not sure how that's going to play out, but we're about to find out. So look at this bullshit right here. The CV band off there, MIA. The lower ball joint boot, the lower ball joint boots on both sides are shot. I just replaced these not that long ago, actually, less than a couple of years ago. The upper ones are still good. Bushings are still good. I'm gonna have to see if I can get a band for that. The midi back works awesome for sucking out the oil. That way there's no risk of any spillage. I love this thing. I sucked out about six liters of oil. People always talk about oil. What oil do I use? Oil is strictly a preference in my truck. I'm going to use the AMS Oil Synthetic Signature Series 5W30. The truck is supposed to use 5W20. I'm switching it up. I'm using AMS oil filter. Then of course in my Jetta, I use Volkswagen filters and Volkswagen oil. It's all a matter of preference. People can argue about which oils are better, which oils aren't for like forever. It's not even worth talking about. Changed the filter. The odd thing is, the filter was really loose as well. I'm gonna put five liters of oil in to get me started. Holy shit, finally. I didn't think that lid was ever gonna come off. Well, that's five liters. That'll be more than enough oil to get it started. Let's start this up, check for leaks. Looking pretty good so far. Since I need to get a CV strap, I should replace a serpentine belt too as insurance because I don't know when I changed it last. They're not very expensive and it's cheap insurance, so I'm gonna leave the truck on the ramps. We'll hop down in the Jeep, see what we can get. All right, just heading to the parts store. Taking the Jeep, we got some work to do in the Jeep. We have to do that front axle seal. Um, I also believe that my bank's header is leaking perhaps. 
Finally, after five years, it might have cracked. I can definitely hear it ticking. Gonna have to investigate that. Do a good look over on the Jeep, see what needs to be replaced after all these years since I first built it. New belt, universal CV clamp. Another bottle of sea foam because you can never have too much. Just cruising here in Kijiji before I go back outside looking at vans. That's the kind of van I'd like to get right there. This is a Savannah all wheel drive. The only issue with it is, I mean, it's priced decently. 18,000, 2011, but it's got way too much mileage. This one here is a 2013, 100,000 kilometers all wheel drive. It's only a 1500. I'd like a three quarter ton or one ton, and um, you're asking 25,000. Color's good, just not. Price range is kind of out, and I'd like it to be a three quarter ton or one ton. Like to see myself in a camper van next year. Might end up this year if this truck keeps having some issues. Well, let's get back to work. Just had the Union coffee break. That's about an hour. So this is the clamp that I got. Let's see if we can replace it. There's lots of grease in there, but I just added some more. Threw in some wheel bearing grease. Sadly enough, I'm abandoning the mission. Use a zip tie for temporary fix. Not sure what I was thinking trying to accomplish that without the special band clamp tool. Ordered that off Amazon and a new clamp. Just in case I effed up this one beyond recognition. Just topping up the oil here. The question is that I want to ask you guys is the passenger side valve cover on the 5.4 can you remove it without disconnecting that AC line be a real pain in the ass to get your AC drained and then remove that line and then get it refilled afterwards What I like about this thing is that you just set it, walk away. Oil's changed, air filter's done, tire pressure's back up. Tire pressure over the winter lost about six PSI per tire. <sighs> Waiting for the clamp tool to fix that boot. Let's do something a little fun now. That's nice though, the Toto sent me this dash camera a while ago that plugs into the stereo and it interfaces with it so let's install that and then hopefully get this belt in today as well then I'll be holding out pretty good basic maintenance is done that's why I got up early changed the oil you can see we got a flood going on there now let's pull the deck out there it is. Picture quality is actually pretty decent. Dumb cats. It's time for your brushing. I know. Are you going to come out to your little house there? Thank you too much convincing, did it? You want to get brushed? Yes, you do. You love getting brushed. Yes, Mr. Tomcats. Come on. I'll brush you, feed you, take you outside. Are you going to lay down? Are you going to lay down so I can brush you? Is that your bird box? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You sound like a lion. Down got. Here we go again, pumping out the water every day that's been flooding my backyard. The eye clever jump starter to the rescue. That should be good for another day or so. Now to get the belt off, one of these tools comes in real handy.
You're limited to where this thing here can go, but in my position, it's enough that I can pull the belt off. Alright, just pull the belt off the alternator. Gotta bring it around. I just got the old belt off. It's not horrible. It's not great either. It's definitely showing its age. It's not all cracked up yet. This is a good time to check all your idlers. Because you remember what happened last time, a few years ago. It was a nightmare. I'm gonna try to feed this belt in now where the tensioner is. I need to feed it through that hole to go around the AC compressor. Now I'm not gonna start, at least I hope it doesn't start. I just wanna bump the engine. And then check the belt. Now it looks like everything is still on. Well, if I start it up and hear some loud noises, came off the pulleys. Looking good, looking good. Look at that bullshit right there. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. There's no point crying over the fucking weather because there's nothing we can do about it. I am just, yeah, we'll just end it at that because you know how I feel. We're gonna have some Farmer's Daughter. What is this, a pale ale? Pale ale, this is a pretty good beer. Half Hitch Brewing Company. Got a lot of things done today before the storm hits. Uh, hoping to head gold mining next weekend, so I'm glad that this bullshit is over and done with. Uh, just went out for a quick drive. The spring melt really hasn't started to hit yet, especially coming from the mountains. And the river by my house is already swollen. I can't imagine what it's going to be like once it really starts to melt. I'm... Wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be in for another flood. Already in southern Alberta, there's massive overland flooding going on. People are being evacuated from their homes. And the mountain melt hasn't even come down yet. Little concerned. I'm on high ground. You don't have to worry about me. The only thing that can happen to me is the sewer could back up or something along those lines. It is what it is. Anyways, motherfucking beer time. Uh. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.